Welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. Uh, in this video, I am going to discuss about the uh, very important concept uh, in the SQL uh, that is the join. And uh, this is the uh, join is the backbone of the SQL. And uh, without uh, knowledge in the join, uh, you cannot survive in the SQL industry or the IT industry or in the database. Okay, so uh, if you have the good understanding on the join uh, you are in good in the uh, database part uh, because uh, join is uh, play an important roles uh, uh, while you working in the table uh, the reason is uh, in the real time environment when you start the working uh, you you will work with the lots of table okay so uh, might be 100 table 200 or 400 or uh, 500 table so always you will get a requirement to retrieve the data uh, from more than one table okay so whenever uh, the more than one table uh, come into the picture the join come into the picture okay so the requirement if you want to achieve uh, by using the more than one table you need to retrieve the data uh, you need to use the join so i already covered the all the uh, built-in function uh, which will use uh, frequently in the coming session all the coming session so if you did, didn't get a chance please uh, watch the video number 24 to uh, 20 uh, 35 uh, the reason is uh, because all the concept which I already discussed uh, video number till 34 that will be useful in the coming all the video okay so uh, in this video i will discuss about the basic of the join why join is required what is the standard uh, definition of the join and i will cover the inner join uh, in this video and uh, next video i will cover the uh, left outer join uh, right outer join full join cross join and this self join so uh, let's start with the SQL Server Management Studio and understand uh, what exactly a join is there. So uh, basically uh, coming to the first uh, definition part. So what is the join? So join are used to relate one or more table in the SQL Server and uh, join are a part of the SQL statement that retrieve rows uh, from a table or table accordingly a specific condition. Okay. so if you have any any a specific condition or if you have any requirement to retrieve the data by using by uh, using more than one table so if you have the requirement uh, by retrieving the data in one table simply what you writing here so simply you simply writing the select star from uh, select star from table name okay so uh, if you write the select star from a table name like i am taking the example of dim uh, customer so you will get retrieve the data from one table and till now we only use the retrieving the data in one table but what will be happen if you I if, if suppose in the dim customer table also okay so like uh, we have the one uh, fact internet sales table is there okay so uh, if you use the fact internet sales okay uh, here this this is the table and uh, again we need to write under table that is the uh, like sales table is related to some type of the uh, product okay so suppose i have this table uh, dim product okay dim product so uh, you can see in this in the board the table if you retrieve the data uh, the output will be coming the uh, output will be coming like 60000 record and uh, dim product also have the some of the uh, some of the record but you can see this also have the product key now if you uh, product table if you retrieve this also have the product key so if you have the requirement to uh, can we retrieve the data uh, which product key available in dim product and which product key available into the fact internet sales record okay so the basically the requirement is uh, whatever the matching product key is there so in this 606 record is there in product key but fact internet sales table uh, we have the around uh, 60,000 so manually we cannot uh, figure out which product key available into the 
fact internet shell so the requirement uh, to achieve this requirement you need to use the join okay to this two table and uh, since this is the matching record so you need to use the inner join so what is the definition of the inner join so inner join is basically used to uh, join produce the record that match in a table okay so uh, not i'm going to uh, show you uh, by using this small table uh, so you will get better understanding how the inner join uh, will be work okay so i have two table employee table okay so employee table and the employee salary table employee detail and employee salary table and you can see uh, here we have the record employee id employee name and department id and uh, employee id is 1 2 3 4 5 6 here 7 8 9 means serial to 1 to 10 but if you coming to the employee salary column uh, we have the uh, uh, after the 6 we have the 11 and 12 so this two record is not matching here and this uh, four record is uh, not matching from this table so the inner join saying that inner join will produce the record that match in a table okay so whatever the data is matched uh, that data will be available into the output okay so if you uh, use the inner join so how you can implement the inner join so first you need to use the select statement okay so uh, select statement if you put it here uh, i will discuss later now you can put the from and uh, you can give the alias name okay so alias name is basically using uh, to giving the uh, some type of the uh, uh, new name of the table okay like employee detail we have the ad employee salary we have the e okay so if you given the alias name e uh, uh, this table name should be uh, renamed to something in the logically point of view ed okay and uh, employee salary is the e so you can give the any name okay it, this is not the limited to one letter two letter or three letter so uh, basically why we you why we giving the alias name uh, we just giving the short name of the table so whenever this table name you will use we can use the ede so after that you need to put the on clause and e dot employee id is equal to ed dot employee id and here i whenever we have the some same name like common name in both the table so uh, for the sql engine it's very difficult to understand where from which table i need to retrieve the data okay so if you re remove the ed dot employee id uh, you will get an uh, error the message that uh, uh, like ambiguous column name if you execute this part of the code you will get an error message that ambiguous column name so sql engine is not able to understand uh, from where i need to retrieve the data okay from which table i need to retrieve the data so to understand the sql engine uh, we need to pass the ed dot okay so when you pass the ed dot employee id uh, ed dot employee id so the sql engine can understand that uh, uh, this is the uh, table from i need to retrieve the data so it will not impact either you can put ed or either you can put e because we already use the inner join so basically they give the only matching record okay so if you execute this code okay so you will get the only employee id 1 to 6 uh, uh, which is the record in matching into the both table so we use the here uh, employee id for the matching uh, you can also use the uh, without alias name like uh, i'm not given here the alias name so uh, i'm not given the uh, alias name so whenever the table name is used like you can see i use the table name here so i use the complete table name so this is the additional task by developer you need to write the full table name uh, so here employee detail so if you use the alias name it will very save your time okay but uh, if you execute this part of the code okay uh, so you can uh, get the same output so it totally depend on the developer how the, they using uh, you, either you can use the alias name either you can use the not alias name now next one is the uh, we matching the record based on the employee id now we can also match the record based on the 
multiple column like for example uh, i have this table and uh, you can see i updated the name okay for the employee to uh, here the uh, sohan here i updated the rahul but previously when i executed uh, we get uh, employee to but uh, we can also match the uh, record for multiple column this is not the limited to the only uh, name so same thing uh, till you write here and uh, after that you can put the end condition and another matching record is coming okay so you can see some red highlighted is coming so this is the basically uh, some uh, issue of the management studio so you can ignore this one okay so uh, you can see red coming by all in the all the columns if they are not able to understand something is there so you can ignore the red column sometimes the sql server management studio uh, is coming like this only but you can say the code is working perfectly okay so here you can put the end condition e dot imply name is equal to ed dot imply name so i put it the additional condition in, for the name now if i execute this one now if you execute this one you can see employee to information is not coming because uh, i use the additional filtration which is the employee name is there okay so i uh, hope you understand the uh, we can use the multiple uh, filtration on this uh, table same code uh, uh, is written here so let me remove here okay so now you can see here uh, uh, employee id and the employee name based on the name and id both filter i use in the inner join so whenever the employee id and employee name are match then the output will become uh, so you can see this output is not coming employee 2 so here employee 2 is matching but name is swan and here name is the rahul but that is the reason this is the output is not coming in the output okay so i uh, hope you sometimes you have the requirement to um, uh, match the multiple record simply you can put the end condition and the uh, match it okay in the inner join uh, you can also use the uh, multiple filtration okay you can use the where clause uh, whatever the function i use in build function uh, we can you can use each and everything there is no restriction is there so whatever you want like for example in the join i want to retrieve the salary which is the greater than 4000 so i i use the 4000 only okay so you can see only to imply uh, have the salary greater than 4000 and uh, uh, next question is uh, how we can join more than two tables so here i will discuss uh, uh, for the two table but uh, suppose if you have the requirement to join uh, more than two tables like for example i have this uh, this table all the detail okay so like let me put here okay so you will get better understanding like uh, we have the three table employee detail employee salary and the department and if you want to join so in the department I, I table you can see only have the one two three four and the salary detail table have the uh, some department uh, which is the other than four like six uh, seven or uh, detail also implied detail table also we have the other uh, data like six uh, uh, five seven so uh, if you use the join in the department table whatever the matching record is there and in terms of the department id uh, we, that data will be only come so simply in the uh, below second table you can write the uh, third table inner join uh, so uh, inner join so you will get here the d dot department id ed dot department id and ed dot nothing but the employee detail and d dot department id is equal to uh, e dot department id so when you execute this part of the code okay so when you execute this part of the code uh, you can see uh, only whatever the matching record is there uh, from all three tables that data is coming so this is the uh, method number one okay so if you write here like if, if you have the four table five table so you can use the number of the join here but sometimes if you put all the join in one place the performance will be go down okay so we also have the split method that is the method number two so uh, this two uh, two data you can put into the uh, single table okay so 
like uh, let me put this joint test uh, one time table is there okay so uh, the first two table join we can put uh, into the uh, temporary table uh, which I already covered uh, what is the temp table so temp table is basically we use for the just uh, holding the data uh, for the temporary point of view so whatever the two table uh, output is there we holding into the this temporary table and uh, when you execute this one all the data will be available in this two in this temporary table and this temp table uh, we can use into the department table okay so in this temp table i use the department table okay so now if you execute this one uh, you will you can see the output is coming the same okay and also this is a very important you can observe that i write here the full join but uh, complete inner join but here, here i write only the join so the uh, inner is not the mandatory if you not write the inner they by default is also they taking the inner join only okay so inner is uh, not mandatory so either you can use the inner join or either you can use the uh, only join so this is the all about the uh, uh, join okay how we can work the inner join how we can work the uh, uh, how we can implement by using the uh, alias name but uh, the main challenging the uh, in the real time all the facing that how we can figure out which table i need to be joined uh, which column i need to be joined so better uh, so like for example here if you retrieve the any of the data table and all table have the indexes all table have the uh, primary constraint created and if you select the table definition i already discussed some of the uh, student is asking the how we can uh, see the table structure i am repeating again press alt tab one okay select the table name and press alt tab one okay so when you press the alt tab one and if you go down here you can see this table have the relation with this which table okay so always we have the primary key and the foreign key constant so uh, this table can join with the fact internet cell table uh, can join with the deem uh, currency okay so uh, deem customer deem date deem date one okay so you can see this is the date column okay available so this all table also and this table uh, fact internet set table sales table is uh, uh, reference to the uh, uh, foreign key uh, which is the here uh, you can see the fact internet sales region is there okay so you can join with the fact internet sales region so this is the all table information you can find like for example i join uh, you can see dim product is there okay so you can see uh, dim product is there so dim product you can join with the product key and uh, here uh, more the uh, fact internet sales dim date to you can join with the date key and also in the dim currency table you can join with the currency key like this uh, this uh, this is a very effective way uh, you can figure out which table i need to be joined uh, in the real time if you have the any requirement so suppose if you have the requirement to fit the related to currency you can join with the fact internet sales with the dim uh, currency by using the currency key so uh, you can use it okay so if you have any steel question uh, you can definitely ask to me definitely i will solve it out and uh, in the next video uh, i'm i will discuss uh, the continue of the uh, this uh, join that is the left outer join and uh, uh, right out or join full uh, join and the cross join and the self join so uh, keep watching thank you so much